Today is Wednesday, Parashat Tetzaveh. We're learning Chokhlisan. We'll explain today the Musar for Wednesday, Parashat Tetzaveh. Atzvut goremet meni'at avoda. Atzvut sadness. When a person is sad or depressed, it causes a person to, to be prevented from serving God. Vekiuma mitzvot and also doing mitzvot from fulfilling Hashem's commandments. Because that sadness brings him down and uh, he doesn't have the, the, uh, the joy or the, the, the reason or the, uh, the desire to do mitzvot or to serve God. Ubitul esek Torah and even prevents him from learning Torah. The kavanat atefila or being able to concentrate when he's praying. Because that sadness brings him down. He's not able to connect with Torah or with prayer even. Umvatel machshava tova la'avod et Hashem. And even negates one's good intentions to serve God. Ve'isha'ar atchalat giru'ya satat ha'etzerara. And it is the beginning of the etzerara's, the evil impulse, incitement. Afilu imut tzadik. Even if he's a righteous person, once a person becomes sad, the etzerara moves in and tries to convince him that oto ki en lo toelet ba'avot avoda biyot yisurim alav. But the Yitzhara tries to show him that uh, there is no benefit from serving Hashem because there are troubles that he's, in, that, he, that he's enduring. So if he's enduring trouble and he's sad, Yitzhara says, you see, there is no, no use for doing mitzvot. Vegam ki ba'alav bederech hasidut. And sometimes the Yitzhara comes in the way of piety, showing him the bringing sort of quote-unquote like pretended humility into him saying, you know, the Amor Lord is how it says, "Hak ech ya ale bedatcha gush afar ima vetolea litkarev mikdushat malkosh el olam." How can you even be so pretentious as to think that you, uh, a lump of uh, of earth, and that eventually will be even worms? How can you even uh, seek to come close to Hashem, who is the the King of the whole world? In other words, your actions are just like it's futility. There, you know, there's no. It's inconsequential, you know, that there is no, not such importance in what you're doing in terms of mitzvot. This is a way that Yitzhara will come to the person through the sadness. Moshe Katuv, like the Pasuk says in Mishle Ramot La Evil Chokhmot, the wisdom seems unattainable to a person who's a fool. A fool thinks that wisdom is impossible to reach. That again comes, could be from the Yitzhara, that when the person is sad and He's down, the Yetzirah comes in that, from that angle. Kumo Shekatuv, like it's written in the Pasuk, in Iov, Im Tzadak Tama Titelo, even if you're, uh, if you're righteous, what, what are you going to give him? Gam Goremet Siluk Ruach HaKodesh Me'alav. Even the sadness causes the Divine Spirit to be removed from him. We see that in Yaakov Avinu, when he was sad over Yosef being far away from him, that he didn't know he thought that he had died. He was devoured maybe by a, a wild animal. But Yosef was very sad and the divine spirit sort of left him. It came back to him only when he was given the news that Yosef was still alive. Now, Hefech, the exact opposite of sadness, Biyoto Oved Barach Besimcha. When he serves Hashem in Simcha, in joy and happiness. Kmo Shekatuv, like the Pasuk says in Tehillim, Ivdu et Hashem besimcha, serve God joyfully. Ki asimcha mosifa cheshek, because the joy adds great desire, the ahava and love, leidabek, and brings a person to the calm and to enable a person, leidabek bo barach to be attached to Hashem. And through simcha, we can attach ourselves to Hashem, we can do mitzvot in the proper manner, and if a person, for whatever difficulty he has, becomes sad, that's a situation where he loses the desire to serve Hashem, he loses the uh, ability to concentrate on prayers or to do mitzvot. And that's the Yitzhav Yitzhar Alay. So then comes in and brings him further down by telling him that he's, uh, whatever he's going to do is futile, so to speak. So the Musar tells us, to do things in the opposite manner, with simcha, to serve Hashem, with simcha, with joy and happiness. Baruch Adonai le'olam, amen ve'amen.